Uh, hey guys, Nicholas here, Breakout Studios, Yoga Flow. I'm happy to be back. As you can see, I am not in Tucson in my parents' barn, quarantined. I am back in LA in my tiny little apartment. So I was really curious how this was going to work out. <sighs> but I think we have just enough space to get some vinyasa and some warrior twos in. Go ahead and get yourself settled. It is so great to be back. Um, I do apologize, I kind of jumped out um, very quickly, not on purpose, um, but because work had started for me in LA, so I returned back very quickly, very unexpectedly, and much like kind of everything that's going on, everything has just been an unexpected situation, trying to deal with it the best that we all can. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad that I'm able to have an adjusted different time or shifted back by 30 minutes, but still making it work. That being said, if you happen to have a towel, a strap, something that'll work for you when we get to things where we might need a little extra length, whether it be in our arms or legs, go for it. Um, a block, but again, no worries if you don't, always try to make it work otherwise. And water, because if you are in Arizona, I know it is hot, and I hate to tell you this, but LA is like 75. So I'm definitely enjoying this weather, this summer weather here. That being said, enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get started. So I don't have all my other special props and again space like a chair and a demo like, hey, if you need to be in a chair seated, do this, do that. Just know that take a child's pose when it works best for you. Do anything from a chair, seated, stretching. Um, I want you to make the practice work best for your body. It is a vinyasa style class, so it tends to be a little bit on the stronger side, especially with all the vinyasas. Skip as many as you need, do as many work for you. Um, but that being said, Friday, July 3rd, let's get started. Go ahead and sit nice and tall. And again, feel free to pop yourself up if you have a towel, if you have a pillow, if you happen to have a block and you wanna bring those hips up, go for it. And then from here, as you settle into your space, either palms facing up, palms down, whichever feels best for you. Go and soften your shoulders, lifting your heart, broadening through your collarbones. And go and close your eyes. <sighs> Just taking in your Friday morning. Allowing your breath to you're gonna just take the lead. As we've headed into a new month, a national holiday tomorrow, everyone's trying to figure out what's happening, what's going on, where we are. And again, through all of this time, I've always just said check in emotionally, check in mentally. Just know how your body is feeling, how you're responding, how you're reacting. And at this point, feel your emotions. Let whatever is flowing through your mind, let it surface. Acknowledge it. You know that I'm never asking you to push down any feelings, whether it be frustration or stress or anger. It's not about pushing any of that away. It's about being aware that it's there, but how can we shift that energy, whether it be through breath, whether it be through our asana, through our movement, through our poses, or just conscious thought, where you place your mind, where you decide to head for your day. So wherever you are this Friday, honor it. And whether it's where you thought you'd be, or not at all, respecting it. And when you're ready, take a nice, comfortable inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Two more, just like that. Deep inhale. And release. One more deep breath in. And release. And as your breath continues to build, 
Allowing your shoulders to continue to soften, finding length through your spine. Gently pressing your lips together, allow your breath to travel in and out of your nose. And when you're ready, gently lowering your chin towards your chest, softly bow your head. Whatever goal, whatever your intention is, again, just that focusing in, getting a sense of where your body is this morning, your mind is, your emotional state, and whatever that might be, allowing the breath to help guide you through your practice this morning. When you're ready, softly open your eyes. And on your next inhale, bring your gaze up. Good morning. All right, breakthrough. Go ahead and send those hands right next to your hips. Soften your shoulders down with that nice big lift. Flipping your palms up as you inhale, floating up and overhead. And as you exhale, release. And again, inhale up. Exhale, lower. Two more here, inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. And one more. Inhale, reach. Pausing at the top. Now checking your shoulders. They're starting to creep up. Can you just soften them down just a bit? And from here, without forcing anything down, without jamming it down, just a nice softening, go ahead and take your hands into your lace. Press your palms up towards the sky. And as much as you can lengthen up towards the ceiling, feel that rooting down from the sitting bones, getting that lift out of your lower back, and then that gentle press through your palms. Take another inhale and exhale and then go ahead and gently take your palms flip them back towards your head release now here's the trick I want you to interlace your fingers again but do the awkward interlace so the fingers that wouldn't usually be on top when you just naturally interlace your fingers but the awkward ones on top and then flip those palms back up pressing the index knuckle towards the sky draw your thumb back towards your head and even notice here I can't Lock my elbows out. One, we don't want to lock the elbows. Two, it starts to create this. So feel free to keep that soft bend. Again, just to getting a little bit more length through your spine this morning. Take another inhale. And exhale. And then go ahead and gently flip your palms, reaching your arms up. As you exhale, go ahead and gently rotate towards your right. Gently send your left hand to your right thigh, and then go ahead and bring your left hand back behind you. Sitting nice and tall as you inhale, float your heart up. As you exhale, draw your right shoulder back, rotate. And again, inhale, lifting your heart up towards the sky. As you exhale, gently twist. And again, one more here, inhale, find that length to lift. Exhale, rotate. Taking one more round of breath here. And exhale. And bringing yourself all the way back to center, floating your arms up. And then exhale, go ahead and switch sides. Right hand to the outside of your left thigh, and then take your left hand behind you, press it into your mat, and then gently lift your heart and draw your left shoulder back. Find that nice opening, broadening along your left collarbone. And taking your gaze, just gently, see how the neck feels. Two more breaths here. One more round of breath. And bringing yourself all the way back to center. Pause, find that lift to length. And then go ahead and take your right hand down, take your left arm up and over. Now, since I'm not in the barn, in the desert, I realize I have a little less room. So if I'm out of frame, I will try to adjust as I go. The camera's a little bit closer to me um, in my apartment. When I was in Tucson, I had that about eight feet away from me. I couldn't even see what was on the screen. <sighs> Breathing into it, take another inhale. And exhale. And bring yourself back to center. And go ahead and switch. But I will say, I feel like my lighting's a little better in here. Side note, sorry, taking us out of yoga. Keep your breath breathing into those side ribs. As your shoulders soften, lifting through the heart as much as you can, even if it feels better to take the gaze down. Go where it works for you. And then as you inhale, bring yourself all the way back to center one last time. And exhale, go ahead and gently release your hands down. All right, let's go ahead and shift forward. Go ahead and bring your wrist underneath your shoulders. Go ahead and bring your knees underneath your hips. Soft bend through your elbows. Nice lift through your belly. 
cat cow lifts. Start to work into that spine. As you inhale, pull your heart forward. And as you exhale, round chin to chest. And just a few more rounds here. Take it into where it works for you. You can take it into the side ribs, releasing through your neck. Any movement, any circles. Again, whatever feels good, whatever works for your body here, especially if it's just your first bit of movement this morning, just to get that spine to wake up. But start to feel that breath, that connection. And as you take about two more rounds of breath here, Go ahead and bring it all the way back to your neutral spine. Now drawing your belly in, soften your shoulders down. And let's go and start to work into our balance. Right arm forward, shoulder soft. Begin to send your left leg back. Now a little flex. Oh, you can't see my leg. There it is. <laughs> but as you soften this outer hip down, draw your belly up and find that reach. So it should be left leg, right arm. Take an inhale. As you exhale, draw them together. Inhale, reach. And four more, exhale. Inhale, reach. And three more. And reach. And two more. And reach. And one more. Reaching your arm forward. Reaching your leg back. Find the length. Now double check that right shoulder. Is it creeping up? Can you soften it down just a bit more? Taking one more inhale. And as you exhale, releasing your hand, releasing your knee, pause, Woo, reset. Drawing the shoulders away from your ear, belly's lifted. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Take your left arm forward and then keep those hip bones lifting up. Take your right leg back. Now from here, double check. Are you just spilling out through that lower back? Can you lift up that belly a little bit more? Really reach your tailbone towards your right heel. Take an inhale. Exhale, draw it together. Inhale, reach. And four more, exhale, reach, three more, and reach, two more, and reach, one more, and reach, Laying that hand forward, reaching the leg back, drawing that belly in, taking one more, inhale, and then go ahead and gently release your hand, release your knee. Now pause in here before we take it to our down dog. Let's just heat up that core one more time. Spread your fingers, gently hugging your elbows back without locking the elbows out though. Keep that soft bend, that's a very dramatic lock, but <laughs> not that dramatic. Keep that soft bend, tuck your toes. As you exhale, hover your knees just off your mat. Now pausing here, not taking the gaze forward. I know you might look at a screen, but once you do, shift the gaze back down, lengthen the back of your neck and don't drop your chin down. There's too much extra weight. Keep the neck nicely aligned, that cervical spine long. Taking one more inhale. And then from here, as you exhale, shift it all the way up. Take it into your first down dog. Any pedaling, any movement, bending one knee, bend the other as you shift side to side. Now, again, as I look forward and as you might as well to the screen, take a glance and then just release. Soften through your neck. Let the head drop and be heavy. Lifting your shoulder blades up away from your ears. Wrap your triceps down towards the mat. And then as you keep reaching your inner thighs up and back, once you've got that nice pedal in there, maybe you find stillness through the legs. As the inner thighs draw back, lift your kneecaps up, send your sitting bones up and back. Shoulders soften from the ears, pressing the heart down. Now notice, how does your first down dog feel compared to the rest as we go. We're hoping it starts to feel like a bit of a place where you can reset, rest, and recover. Taking one more round of breath here. As you inhale, go ahead and shift forward. Start to work it into your first full plank. Whew. Now remember, at any time, knees down when you need. Otherwise, keeping those knees lifted, hip bones lifted, collarbones broad. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, hips up and back. On the breath, inhale forward. And up and back. Two more. Shift it up and forward. And back. Now one more. We're going to pause at the top here. Feel free to drop your knees as you need. Just a little rotation and a little bit more support through our core. We're going to open up that right arm. You can drop the heels all the way. Send it to a little Vashistasana. We're just here for a breath. Just feel those obliques that fire through the side. And then go and gently release your hand. Pause. Broaden. And then go ahead and gently shift. 
Now, again, feel free to modify, bring a knee down when needed. Take one more inhale. Exhale, gently release, just getting into those shoulders, getting that heat there. And then why not wake up the core? Why not wake up the center? Grounding yourself. Inhale, bring you forward. Now let's go and have everyone bring your knees all the way down to the mat. Now remember, when we are in plank on our knees, we don't want the hips to just fall forward and see even here I've collapsed through my shoulders. Again, very dramatic, but feel that lift, feel that press down, and then those hips drawn up and back, belly towards your spine. Hugging your elbows in, let's do four chaturanga push-ups. Take an inhale, exhale lower halfway. Inhale up, three more. Now know that you're welcome to keep those knees lifted if you'd like. Two more, and up. One more, I want you to hold and pause. Good, take another inhale. And then exhale, go ahead and gently release all the way down. Hands right next to your ribs. Elbows are reaching up, nice and low, cobra pose. Now keep it low because we're gonna lift those hands in just a moment. Taking their tailbone, reaching it towards your heels. Shoulders soft, collarbones broad. Can you take those hands, just hover right off the mat. Shoulders stay soft away from the ears. Take one more inhale. And exhale, gently release your hands, release your head, pause. Shoulders are soft from the ears. Spine is long, again, just like that. We're gonna hold a little longer. Inhale, just the heart. Now try not to over grip your glutes. Naturally, we wanna just grip everything. Don't grip the glutes. Lift the hip bones up, draw the belly in, soften your shoulders down, hover your hands. So really make it about what's happening here through the upper back, taking our rounding out of the upper back. Take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, gently release your hands, release your head. One more time, just that opening through the chest. Inhale, reach your heart forward, shoulders soft, pulling your heart forward. Tailbone reaching back. Now again, can you hover those hands? Finding that lift and length through the heart, not here, here. Take another inhale. Exhale, gently release your hands, release your head. Ooh, checking how the back is feeling. Now keep hugging those elbows in. Now let's use the arms. Don't compensate by pushing into the shoulders though. Keep those shoulders reaching down. As you inhale, put a little bit more weight. Hugging the elbows in, draw the belly in. Press back, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Working into our vinyasa. Take a moment, how do you feel? Where are your thoughts? Where's your intention? What was your goal? A lot of big questions right there. Pick one, pick something that works for you. Maybe you're like, just Nicholas, I just need to breathe this Friday morning. That's what it's about. Breathing, and that's fine with me. Let's take a deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Now let's go ahead and move through that vinyasa here. As you inhale, shift forward. Now yogi's choice, knees up or down, hugging your elbows in. Exhale, gently lower. Inhale, pull your heart forward, broaden, shoulders stay soft. Tuck your toes, can you go with straight legs? Now as you lift with those straight legs, my quads, my thighs engage to help me lift up. Because my legs, and I would assume everyone's legs, are much stronger than our arms and shoulders. So rely on that core, rely on those quads, especially through vinyasa practice. And it's so easy to think that it's just all arms and shoulders. It's not. As you inhale, come forward, pause. Broaden here, shoulders soft. Let's do one more round here together. As you exhale, gently lower. As you inhale, lifting the heart. Now my quads are starting to engage already here. So that as I tuck my toes, my thighs help pull me up and back, giving my arms a little bit more support. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. Now here's the real test. Let's see if I stay in frame. Go ahead and come onto your toes, look forward, bend your knees. Feel free to step for this first one. Soft, bend through your knees as you fold. Maybe gentle nod, yes. Maybe gentle shake, no. Now check, are your shoulder blades falling way down here by your ears? Feel that on your body. Get your shoulders off your neck. Draw them down. Engage through your upper back. As you inhale, send your heart forward. Belly draws in, spine is long. Exhale, release. Now same thing here. As you come halfway up, it's not about this. It's this, drawing that belly in and lower. One more here, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Arms all the way up and overhead, stand tall. And 
hands are hard. Ooh, just barely. My hands left that screen. It's all right. We'll make it work that way. All right, yogis, go and bring your toes together. Belly lifts, tailbone down. Hands to heart. Take an inhale. Exhale. Send your hips back. Add you take that full. Drawing those hips back, hugging the thighs, and draw your belly in. Soften your ribs in. Soften your shoulders. Now check, adding more heat to the legs. As you press back through your heels, as you keep that lift through your heart, inhale, float the arms. Wrap your triceps forward. Not the shoulders, the triceps. Arms right alongside the ears. Taking two more breaths. You got this. One more inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Step your left foot back. Stepping your left knee all the way down towards the mat. As you inhale, float your arms up. Wrap your tricep forward. Same thing. Draw your belly in and up. Hug your right hip back. Just get that nice stretch into your left hip flexor. Taking one more inhale here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, pulls your heart forward. Exhale, shift your hips back. And again, inhale forward. Exhale back. Two more. Inhale forward. And back. One more. Bring it forward. And back. Planting your front foot. Pausing here. Keep reaching your heart forward. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Come on, your fingertips. Send your heart forward. Hug your right hip back. Now, strong through the core. We've already worked into those back bends. That back has started to heat up, especially that upper back. So find that support. Can you take the right arm? Palm faces down. Is that enough? Maybe the left arm. Ooh, now remember, neck is long. Try not to be here. Here. Soft bend through your back knee. Inhale sweeps you all the way up. Shoulders stay soft. Belly stays lifted. Oh, I gotta adjust this angle. I don't like that you can't see my back leg. There it is. It's there somewhere. I just gotta be. I'm standing on two legs. Take one more inhale. Reverse it. Palms forward. Shift that heart forward. Pause. Shoulders away from your ears. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, left hand to the mat, right arm up to the sky. Take your twist, broaden. Can you stack your right shoulder on top of your left, hugging your right hip back? Taking one more inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Let's take it through vinyasa. Plant your palms, step back. Broaden through your collarbones, knees up or down. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Tuck your toes from your quads, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Reset. Inhale, coming onto your toes, look forward, exhale, bend your knees. Maybe this time you take a little hop all the way to the top, bringing those feet between those hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chair, hands to heart. Pausing for a breath, soften your shoulders. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. This time, let's go ahead and take it right with the arms. Bend your knees, hips back, chair, utkatasana. Shoulders soft, heart is lifted. Bringing a little bit more of that flow, a little bit more of that heat. Breath nice and steady. Take one more inhale. Exhale, go in lower. Inhale, halfway. Step your right foot back. Left foot forward as that right knee drops down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Float your arms up and overhead. Tricep drop forward. Belly stays drawn in. Ribs are staying soft. Shoulders away from ears. Woo. And again, if that's all too much, all the direction, all the placement, breathe. If anything, chill. Sit in a child's pose. Sit in a chair. Breathe with us. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, shift your hips back. And again, inhale forward. And back. Two more, inhale forward. And back. One more, bring it forward. And back. And then bringing your foot all the way down to the mat, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, come on your fingertips, reach the heart forward. Now already feel the core charged up, back leg charged up, left hip back. Can you take your left arm, swing it right alongside your hip. Keep pulling your heart forward. Can you take that right arm? Bring it right along the hip. Keep broadening here. Keep lengthening here. Woo! Inhale brings you up. Awesome work. Now feel free to have a soft bend through that back knee in crescent. Warrior one, warrior two, no bend in the back leg. But crescent, that 
fat knee can be bent. We want to reach the tailbone down. And as you feel that more of that release, maybe the back leg starts to extend a bit more. Now, flipping those palms forward, broadening. Exhale, shift that heart towards that top leg. Steady with the breath. Don't hold it. Don't grip. Don't clench through your jaw, your face. On your next exhale, reach your right hand down. Float your left arm up. Stack, left shoulder over right. One more, inhale. Exhale, releasing your hand down towards the mat. Plant your palm. Step back now. You can skip the vinyasas. You can go back to down dog, child's pose. If you want to practice upward dog, lower halfway. Lift your toes so those legs stay strong. Those quads are engaged because you have to keep those hips lifted. Don't lock the elbows. Soft bend. Up and back, downward dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Let it go. <sighs> Gentle nod, yes. Gentle shake, no. Releasing here, those shoulder blades draw up, those ribs draw up. Three rounds. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, come forward, knee to nose. And shift it back. Two more. Exhale, forward. And back. One more. Exhale forward. Pause at the top. Take another breath in. And then stepping your foot all the way between your hands. Woo. Come on to your fingertips. Heart reaches forward. Crescent pose. Sweep the arms. Pausing here. Woo. There you can kind of see my back foot there. I'll walk it in a bit. We're going to move into warrior two. So you do want to walk that right foot in just a little bit. And then drop your left heel down. Now back leg is straight. Press through that back leg. Hands to heart. Rotate your shoulder so that they align towards the left side of your mat. Keep setting your right inner thigh forward, tailbone dropping down. Extend your arms, crush your palms down towards the mat. Now find that nice lift through the belly. Keep growing yourself, staying strong in your warrior two. Stay right where you are. I'm trying not to get too sweaty up in here. Give myself a little airflow. Inhale, float your arms, straighten your leg. Exhale, bend. Two more. Inhale up. And bend. One more. Bring it up. And bend. Pausing here. Keep the hip bones lifted. Send your inner thigh forward. Form to thigh. Left arm up to the sky. Now keep that lift. Remember, we're not sinking. We're lifted up. Don't think so much about going down. Think about lifting up. You want to keep rising and lengthening as much as you can. Drawing those right ribs up. You're welcome to stay here. You can use a block if you have one. Maybe hand all the way down. Again, if you feel like you're just kind of sinking here, there's a difference between just kind of sitting into your joints and flexibility and then being held by muscles and supporting your joints. So feel that hold, feel that lift. Top arm rotate, can you extend up and overhead? Take another inhale. And exhale. Now keep the bend. I know there's power in that front leg. Keep the bend, flip the palm. Take it back reverse. Lengthen through the side waist. I know your legs are talking. Mine are too. Take one more. Inhale. Exhale. Gently release. Pause. Look forward. Lift your back heel. Bend your back knee. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale. Fold. Bend your knees. Chair. Hips back. Float your arms up. Shoulders up. Udkatasana. And then bring yourself up. Hands to heart. All right, yogis. First single leg balance here. Left foot stays down, right knee bring it up. Now, automatically I put my foot to my thigh, but remember, if it works better for you, foot to shin, or even a little kickstand, go for it. Do what works for you. Now drawing those hip bones up, engage strongly through that left thigh. As those hip bones lift, feel free to bring the hands to your heart. Keeping the breath. Soft through the shoulders. If it feels right and you wanna take those arms up and overhead, why not? Take another inhale, and exhale. One more inhale. Center yourself, exhale, soften through your face. Inhale, bring your right knee to center, pause. Step your big toes together, keep those arms reaching. Chair, Utkatasana, shift the hips back. Drawing the ribs in, take an inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. 
Plant your palms, either light step. Feel free to hop if you want to. Child's pose, down dog, or right into vinyasa. And when you're ready, you'll meet me back in your downward facing dog. Reset, a little pedal, a little shift. And then when you're ready, second side. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, come forward, knee to nose. And then back. Two more. And back. And one more. Pausing at the top here, taking one more breath. And then go ahead and step your foot between your hands. Crescent pose. Come on your fingertips, soft bend, float your arms up. Find the lift, find the length, draw in, tailbone down, shoulders stay soft. And then that transition, hands to heart. Now back leg, as the heel drops, press through that back thigh. Straighten it, align front heel to back big toe, send the inner thigh forward. As the tailbone drops down, the hip bones lift up, and then extend. Now breathe into the work. Breathe into how strong your legs have to be to hold this pose. I get it. If you gotta come out of it, you do. But remember, there's a difference between pain and discomfort. Being uncomfortable, it's okay. Honestly, being uncomfortable right now feels like just regular life. So, how can we breathe into the discomfort, whether it be a yoga pose, whether it be life, calming ourselves down, settling into it, knowing that we can get through it, we will. Inhale, float the arms up, straighten that front leg. Exhale, bend. Two more, inhale up. And bend. One more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend, pausing here. Keep that press, keep that reach. Start with forearm to thigh. Right arm up to the sky, remember, none of this, this. Use your core, lift. Keep bending through that front knee. Keep that reach, that top arm stacking to the shoulders. If this is enough, stay here, block or not. Softening the shoulders away from your ears. Keep that broadening, keep that lift, keep that opening. Now, keeping the deep bend through that front leg as you inhale, bring it up. Inner thigh reaches forward, front palm flips. Send it back, reverse warrior stretch into those side ribs. Take another inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring you all the way up. Exhale, gently release. Now looking forward, feel free to walk that left foot out towards the left side of your mat, stepping your foot all the way to the top. Big toes together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chair. Float your arms up. Pause for a breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to heart. Balance on the second side. Lefty lifts. Whatever you did to that right leg, go ahead and match it here on the left. As the tailbone draws down, as you lift up through the center, square to that pelvis. Bringing hands to heart center. Now don't sink into that right bum. Again, I almost said left. I started teaching live classes in front of people, so when I face people, I mirror, and I say opposite, but when I'm teaching virtually, I stay on my right side. So anyway. Inner, inner chatter in my head, Nicholas, let it go. Feel free to float your arms up and overhead. Taking one more round of breath here. And then go ahead and bring your knee forward, pause. Bring your big toes together, shift your hips back. Take another inhale. Exhale. And bring yourself up. And gently release. Woo. We're gonna get a little bit more into those shoulders. So feel free, a towel. If you happen to have a strap, I will demo with it and then we'll go from there. So we're gonna start with, if you have that towel, if you have that strap, place it over your left shoulder. I'm gonna face straight on the camera for this one. Go and take your right arm up, bring that hand to your upper back and then take your left arm, reach it out, flip it and go ahead and bring it up. Now the goal is to get our hands. Ooh, my left shoulder's tight to interlace. Again, if that doesn't happen, that's why we use a towel. So make sure you're holding on to something because we're going to add on with the legs here. Also, making sure we're not pressing those ribs out. Draw those ribs in. Send the tailbone down, hugging your right tricep forward, draw your left shoulder back. 
you know, big toes together. If this is enough, and it should be, if you're getting a nice little stretch in that left shoulder, right tricep, you're more than welcome to stay here. Otherwise, bending those knees. And again, we're not falling forward. Keep that lift. Two more rounds of breath here. One more. Inhale, bring you all the way up. And gently release. Ooh. Softly releasing the arms. Nice. Go ahead and take that. Drop that towel. Place it to your other shoulder. Taking your left arm. Reach it up. Bring it to your upper back. Taking your right palm, flipping it up. And same thing. So, Matt, so notice, especially if you're right-handed. I am left-handed, so that's why my left shoulder is much tighter. Because you think about the hand that you write with, it's always forward. It's the dominant, so it has to stretch to open. So if you need that extra support with that towel, with that strap, use it. Because we're trying to open up, reverse all that time, you might spend a little hunched over. Setting that tailbone down, drawing the ribs in, keep your left elbow lifted. Toes together, if available. Send those hips back. Release. Keep reaching the heart up. Keep drawing the lower ribs in. Two more rounds of breath here. Settle in. Keep the lift. One more. And as you inhale, gently begin to extend. And gently release. Ooh, awesome work, yogis. Go ahead and set that strap, set that towel. Bring it off to the side. Standing tall, let's go and float out before we head into our next balance. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway. Plant your palms, you decide. Vinyasa, step or hop it. Down dog or child's pose, yogi's choice. And up and back. Now we're just here for a moment, I just wanted to reset for a second here. As you lift those shoulder blades up, wrapping those triceps down. Let's go and open up that right knee to the right shoulder. So three rounds. Inhale, right leg floats to the sky. Exhale, bring it to the right shoulder. And back. Two more. And back. And one more. Pausing at the top, take another inhale. And then bring your knee to your nose. Maybe they touch. Step your foot between your hands. Drop your back heel all the way down. We're just here for a moment. Float the arms up. As you send that inner thigh forward, dropping the tailbone down. Feel free to extend. Press down, reach. And like that front leg. Nice. I told you just a moment. Back leg. Feel free to bring it in just a little closer. This one, we're just going to head into triangle pose. So we're not going for the full half moon today. Drawing that right outer thigh down. Hugging slightly the right hip back. We're not trying to square up, but hugging it back just a little bit more to get that rotation there. And then lift the hip bones up. Extend, press down, lengthen. Through that side waist as you shift forward. Hand on the shin, hand on the block, hand to the mat. Bring it to the outside of the ankle. When we go here, we tend to fall forward. And the goal with this is trying to open up, get a little rotation, stack the shoulders. So it gets nice into that left waist. Drawing your kneecap up, we're not just sinking and folding it into flexibility, but we're lifted and supported with muscle strength, with control. Two more breaths. One more here. And then as you exhale, gently set your left hand forward, look towards the top, stepping your left foot up. Now before we get into the second side, let's drop those hips. Whew. Navasana. If you need to hold on to those thighs, go for it. Let's hope I don't crash into my chair back here. I'll angle a little bit. You can hold. You can come back to the thighs with the hands. You can bring hands behind you because we're going to lower and lift. Five rounds. We're going to do it twice. So when you're ready, take an inhale. Exhale, lower. And up. Four more. And up. Three more. And up. Two more. And up. And one more. And up. Now pause. Now you decide where you're going with this Friday. You're more than welcome to stay here. Just keep that heat going if you need to bring the feet down for a moment or hold on. Take a breath. Reset. Soften your shoulders. Five more. 
Take another breath. Go ahead and set up if you did set the legs down. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower. And up. And four more. And up. And three. And up. And two. And up. And one more. Up, pausing at the top. Take another inhale. Exhale, release. Woo. Sitting tall, soft through the shoulders. You made it, boat pose. All right, however you wanna make your way back to downward facing dog. Again, if you need that break, take it. If you want that vinyasa, go for it. Sending those feet back. You can step, you can hop. You can just swing the legs around. Again, whatever works best for you. Resetting. Left knee to left shoulder. Three rounds. Inhale, float your left leg. Exhale, bring it forward. And shift it back. Two more. And back. And one more. Pausing at the top. Take another inhale. Knee to nose. Maybe they touch. Step your foot between your hands. Drop your back heel down. And as you inhale, windmill. Press. Lift. Ribs in. Four breath. <clears throat> Excuse me, and extend. Release your arms. Feel free to shorten the stance just a bit. I always, to sink deeper into my warrior twos, I'll really step my feet wide because I like that nice long reach, but for triangle, it might feel a little wide. So you can draw the feet in a little bit, lengthen through your side waist, press down, shift forward, chin, ankle, block, mat. Hand is on the outside of that left pinky toe. Oh, my left and right, so I tell you, they're all off. Broad in here. Uh, jokes in. Looking up is just added challenge. So if it feels right, you can look up, you can look forward, you can even look down. We just don't want the shoulder to go with you. Open up that shoulder. Two more breaths. As you exhale, begin to look forward, bend your front knee. Now releasing your hand, step to the top, pausing here. Take your feet a little wider than hips width. We're going for it today. Sink those hips down, yogi squat. Now, I've said before, we're not gonna be in yogi squat too long. If you wanna roll up your mat, if the heels aren't touching, if you need to bring hands to the mat, you can. Of course, here's where maybe even blocks. Of course, I didn't realize we might not have blocks. So, if you need to plant those hands down because the heels are just like, nope, not gonna do it, that's fine. Don't force them down, but it's good to kind of ease your way into it to see where it goes. If you did settle those heels down, awesome. Bring the hands together. Lift the heart. Now keep the broadening, this hugging, this connection. Knees right all the way up towards my shoulder. And I'm pulling up, I'm hugging my thighs in, but then I'm gently pressing out with my arms. So there's a lot going on there. The drawing in, the pressing out, everything's trying to work together because I'm getting ready to work towards my balance. So that belly draws in. Keep lifting, send the hands down towards the mat. Now, your fingertips, I want you to aim weight there. Seems crazy, they're so small. But in order to really help get that weight forward, you need to press into the fingertips of your hand. Yes, weight will go into the heel of the hand, but, or the palm of the hand, but as you lift those hips up, hug your knees in, reach your heart forward, do not throw up your head. Here's the one time, lengthen that neck forward. This is where you can do it because you want to shift that weight as you draw that belly in to take that time to bring those feet up. Now my palms are pressing, but so are my fingertips, and I'm working to get that length. As I keep hugging in with the knees, I'm gently pressing out. So take a moment with that and feel free. One foot, the other foot. If you're newer to it, sometimes the scariest part is just shifting forward. That is fine, play with that. Feels what it's like, feel what it is like to take weight towards the fingertips. One more round of breath here. And when you're ready, step, hop it, however you'd like to, either through vinyasa, child's pose if you would like, downward facing dog. And wherever you settle, wherever you end up, once you get there, take a nice deep inhale. Let it go. All right, our final balance, our final standing pose. 
Let's finish it strong. Warrior three. Right leg floats. Knee to nose. Step your foot between your hands. Reaching the toes forward. Broaden. Hug your hip back. Lift. Take your time. Floating the arms. Whoo! That's enough. Stay here. Shifting your gaze forward. Pushing your weight onto that right leg. Strong. Left leg. Don't let that left leg be dead weight. Feel free to keep a bend in your knee as long as you need. Maybe hands to heart. If you want. Arms can reach forward, but I will leave that up to you. Two more breaths. One more inhale. And very gently go ahead and release your hands. Whoo. Stepping back. Planting your palms. If you'd like a vinyasa, you're welcome to. Otherwise, knee me back. Downward facing dog. When you're ready, inhale left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot between your hands. Pausing here. Now coming onto your fingertips. Broaden, hugging your left outer hip back. Just like we did at the beginning, that core support. Whew. Trusting that that core's got it, we need it. I'm gonna step back just a bit so I stay in the camera. But as you exhale, taking your gaze forward, shift up onto that left leg as the right leg floats. A soft bend as you need. Belly draws in, tailbone reaches back, shoulders soft away from your ears. And again, take your arm where it works for you. As you soften that right outer hip down, make sure the pelvis is nice and square. Take one more inhale. And exhale, Ooh, releasing those hands. It'll be your last vinyasa if you wanna take it, go for it. Inhale, lift. And exhale, hips up and back. Nice deep inhale. Out your mouth. Bring your knees down to your mat. Bring your toes together. Shift your hips back. Take a child's pose. You made it through all the craziness. We're going to stretch here a bit, cool down a bit. So we're almost there. Nice work, yogis. Taking a couple more rounds of breath here. Feel free to let your head drop down towards the mat. And then when you're ready, go ahead and shift yourself forward, planting your palms, tucking your toes, inner thighs up and back. Let's set up into our single pigeon. Go ahead and bring your right knee forward. Now remember, this can be done on your back. So if you need to, to go into a thread the needle, go for it. Hugging your right hip back, drawing the belly up. A towel, a block, any prop for under your hip is always good. Most importantly, no pain into your right knee. So make sure that right knee feels good. And then as you hug back, go where it works for you. No tension, because it takes out the whole point of it all. And we're just moving that tightness from one place to another. Soften. And as you exhale, as you use your breath, gently release. Again, you're more than welcome to stay where it works for you. Just a few rounds of breath here, settling in. Two more rounds. And taking your time, go ahead and gently walk your hands up. Now this next bit is very optional. So you can take a downward facing dog and chill there. You can float the right leg up if you want. You can come forward and here's a way, a kind of nicer way that I like to get into it. You can shift forward, kind of like Bashi Stas. Now bring the left hand down, step your right foot back. So I'm on the ball, I'm in the ball of that back foot. And then from here, you can press your hips up and then reach that right arm back as the heart lifts up to get a nice little heart opener here. So one more time, in case you missed it, from that Vashi, that top leg, which should be your right leg, will step back. And then from there, use that right leg to help press, engaging through the glutes to open up through the heart. Taking one more inhale. And then exhale, go ahead and gently release.
bring your left knee forward. Adjust, setting it down. Ooh. Hugging the left hip back. Bring your knee in just a little bit. Again, any support you might need, whether it's bringing a block, a towel, anything underneath that hip, no pain, no pain at all. Come onto your back, thread the needle, if that works better for you. Lift the knees, knees, neck, lower back, in particular, the body in general. Again, there's a difference between pain and discomfort, but pain is just one thing you do not want to feel, and especially in those areas. So making sure that knee feels good as you settle. Try not to bring your focus to the rest of your day, jumping ahead of yourself, maybe your 4th of July plans. Although I know we're quarantined still. But whatever that might be, can you just settle in, keeping your breath? Soften through your shoulders. And then taking your time, go ahead and walk your hands up. Planting your palms, tucking your back toes from here. Go ahead and shift up. Now remember, if down dog is enough, you're like, no way, I don't need to flip this dog, keep it here. Otherwise, shift forward, take the right hand down, drop your right heel. Now you can start by stacking the feet, lifting up, left arm, and then step your left foot back. Gently press your hips up to get that reach over. Of course, watching out for that right shoulder. You don't want to overdo it. Go to where it works for you. Two more breaths. And bring yourself back down. Ooh. Hips up and back. And then we're gonna bring our knees forward between the hands. You can step, you can hop, you can jump, drop the knees. However it's best for you to get those legs out in front of you. All right, yogis, let's go ahead and finish it up here. Final twist into onto our back. Oh my goodness, look at my mat. It's all over the place. Go and bring your left shin in. Go and bring your right shin on top. Gently pressing down into your right hand. Lift up through your heart. Send that left arm up as you exhale. Take it across. And rotate. Just like we started at the beginning. Draw that right shoulder back. Lifting the heart up. Two more breaths. One more. And bring yourself all the way back to center. And go ahead and switch sides. Bring that right knee underneath, left leg on top. Draw your left hip down. So make sure that both hips are planted onto the mat. You don't want to be lifted up and just rocking onto this right one. Send the left hip down. And you can even just use this thigh to help hug in. Maybe that's your rotation here. If it feels all right and you want to add more, Pressing down, not into the shoulder though. Lift up out of it and then rotate. Two more breaths here. One more. And bring yourself all the way back to center, pausing at the front. I'm gonna extend your legs out in front of you as you press through your heels, flexing your feet, especially your pinky toes. Feel free to take the skin of your bum, gently lifting it to sit tall on your sitting bones, reaching your arms up, triceps forward. As you exhale, gently pull wherever you land. You can use that towel too, that strap, whatever you might have around the feet. If your hands don't quite reach, otherwise bring your hands down to the mat, to the shin. Take an inhale, soften your shoulders from your ears. As you exhale, pull your heart forward. And again, inhale, get a little bit more length. Soften your shoulders, exhale. One more round here. Exhale. As you inhale, take your time, slowly bringing yourself up. And then just gently shifting yourself all the way down onto your back. Feel free to take hold of your thighs, 
as you lower yourself down. If there's anything you need, maybe a happy baby. If you feel like one more twist, by all means. But otherwise, we've ended in a neutral, so feel free to settle your body down, allowing the arms to rest, allowing the shoulders to soften down onto your mat. As you extend your legs, soften your face, closing your eyes. Take a comfortable inhale here. And a gentle exhale. And for the next minute or so, just find stillness. Settling into your Shavasana. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Gently bringing movement back to your fingers and your toes. Reaching your arms over your head, take a long stretch through your body. And when you're ready, bend your knees, rolling to your side. Allow your breath to deepen. And your next exhale, take your time, gently pressing yourself up to a seated position. Go ahead and cross at your shins. Feel free to keep your eyes closed, your face soft, hands to heart center. Now as your shoulders soften, as your heart lifts, spine is long grounded, with sitting bones. Any peace, any calm, any space or length through your body, through your mind, was created, taking that with you on through your Friday, through your 4th of July weekend. Just any compassion, just not only for things around you, but just for yourself. Take that with you too, especially in this time. And a little bit more compassion just for ourselves. Closing with three strong breaths. Take a deep inhale. And release. Two more deep breath in. Release. One more deep breath in. And release. Sealing in your practice, your work, your effort. Namaste. Thank you. So much, yogis. Such a pleasure breakthrough. Again, I apologize for the hiatus, but I think I more or less have more or less have my schedule set up now in LA. But nothing is certain during these times, as we all know. But I hope you all enjoyed. Um, please feel free to leave any comments. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, that's it. I'll be back again next Friday at 9:30 a.m. I hope you all have a very safe. 4th of July weekend. If you're going out, don't forget to wear your mask. Hector, thank you so much. So great to be back. Um, but I hope y'all are doing great. Have a very safe holiday and I will see y'all soon. Bye.